Guys, Scott Matuka John eating my after church meal, drinking Kesav Arab, Baba Ganoush, Kefta. And I just thought something. Last night we have the Italian play bowl. I'm gonna show you guys this just in a little bit. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay guys, so last night we tried a little different thing. We used to smoke out of the funnel bowl. You can see the funnel bowl right there. Egyptian, or uh, the Tangiers funnel bowl out of a mozza, which smoked pretty good. But now we've got a Khalil Ma'moon chrome tri-metal, which is beautiful. But you'll notice this bowl right here. It doesn't look like a regular Egyptian bowl, but it is a clay, uh, Italian clay bowl. Okay? We actually had really good results last night that we are going to continue tonight. I'm Mishura Yekshu Farah Bain with Funnel Bowl Tangiers with Italian Clay Bowl. Let's go to Sabe. I'm a bit of a little 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 bit of a Okay, so what he's saying, he's saying it'll give you the same exact smoke as the Funnel Bowl for the most part, but saves you. Uh, the tobacco. You don't get much tobacco waste going on. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna recreate this tonight. All right, guys. All right, guys. So what do we get here? Are some of the mixed bowls that I brought from overseas. We've got these from before, but I need to really count out this Italian clay bowl. It's not too deep. There's my finger. That's what she said. And you know, female fitting again. So there's your Italian. Clay bowl. Pretty good. I'm going to count these out and see how many we've got here. Um, not that it's necessary. A lot of you guys have already bought these already. Seems like I get, got a good amount, but what I want to do is really um, spread the word about them a little bit. Looks like they've got, they're really good as far as, well, there goes one. Anybody want a broken one? So, they're really good for Tangiers, actually. Um, let's compare the way it looks to regular Egyptian Play. See, these are a little bit cheaper. I don't know if the lighting is good for this to show you the difference. It's a little matte, dry. It's Egyptian. It's okay. These are great bowls, too. But this one, if you'll see, it's almost a little semi-gloss. It just feels better. So anyways, these are from Italy, even though I got them by some Syrian dudes in Lebanon. So, go figure. Alright. Um, we're gonna go back and repeat the smoking process that we did last night. I'm gonna use a Tangier's funnel bowl most likely. Uh, the old man is gonna use one of these. He's gotta take one of these back with him because he can't afford to get Tangier sent to him on a regular basis. Um, so he can't smoke 50 grams at a time in every setting. Fill this with about 10 to 15 grams. So we will be doing this a little bit later tonight. I'm gonna get back to work. This is the Thanksgiving weekend. This is uh, what came in after Thanksgiving, actually. Thanksgiving was a ton. We actually had, I'd like to say, triple this amount here. And now I get a bunch of orders to do over on the, the workbench over there, which I'm going to get to now. But I will be back tonight demonstrating how cool this Italian clay bowl is. All right, be back, guys. Okay, so now we're going to prepare the small Italian clay bowl with a small Tangier funnel bowl. One thing I gotta stress out that's very important when you're smoking hookah is to make sure you hydrate your body, make sure you've got food in your stomach, all right? This is what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna start with a little bit of these veal chops right here. Get a little peppers going on, a little salt. Okay, make sure you hydrate yourself. I definitely recommend a good Chilean one. Pop this open and let it breathe right now because we've got a, another hour or so before we eat. Okay, make sure you pop that nice and quick. That's what she said. So we'll pop her nice and quick, let it breathe for half an hour, get some oils, get some gloves. You know what, maybe I'm just going to go, I'm going to do something you should never do. Maybe go a little bare back, and that is what she said too on raw meat. You shouldn't do that, but you feel better going ahead and doing this. And make sure to get all the salt and pepper in there. The thing is now you get a little bit of a problem, I can't go ahead and touch these. So I'm going to wash my hands, get a little salt and pepper going on these things get my hookahs ready. I can show you the difference between the Italian clay bowl and small tangier funnel bowl. Thanks. And that's it? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me. I'm so good now? I'm so good, eh? Okay, so right now we've got the small funnel bowl. Today I decided to do a nice uh, mix of lucid mint and regular pear, OG pear. Look how much tobacco I'm going to put into the small 
funnelable. You gotta put a lot in there. I don't know how many grams. I'm not a scale, but I usually put about this much. All right? Pack it down. You guys have all seen my original funnel bowl packing video with Eric of Tangiers showing me the right way to pack one. So this is pretty much what I do, right? This is the way it looks. You jam pack it in, do this, right? Isn't that what Eric taught us? You gotta go through all these steps, okay? I think I packed a pretty go good bowl myself. Now, we got an issue here. A lot of you guys, that's too much tobacco for most of you guys. So what we're gonna do is use the Italian clay bowl. I don't know. Can they tell me that? I don't know. Okay. Take a forkful. That's about it. All right. Maybe a little bit more. Do you like batch way? No problem. Okay. Chalas. Take them near. Chalas. Okay. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do this. We tried this last night, and it worked out pretty good. He was actually smoking for I'd say an hour and forty-five minutes alone out of his KM. Okay, and what I told him he should do is poke holes all the way through thick, just like you would a funnel bowl. Thick holes all the way through. A little test is to put the bottom of it on your lips. Let's see, and that's what she said, right? That might be too thick, we might change that. But anyways, we're gonna go out there and pack these hookahs right now and smoke away. We're gonna time it. We're actually gonna tell you what time we started and what time we're still smoking through, all right? And those veal chops are coming right up too. All right, that's what's is it. Okay guys, so we've got the Italian funnel bowl, two chronic hookah coals on top of it. We've got a chromed out original tri-metal. We've got my father-in-law smoking. What do you think, Hamne? Show us, Hamne. Hala. Ra'ya. Okay. كيف الدخان؟ تقيل الدخان؟ لا بالعكس كثير انت بتحب هاي هي لايكس لس سموك هيز مور اباوت ذا فليفر رائع ما عندي مشكله فيها ابدا وحتى بتوفر تمبك سيفز شيشه سيفز كول بتوفر فحم اوكي انا ابغى ماي فور جو بول جوين اي جت ا ليتل بيت More smoke for you coming from behind the camera. So pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is time it. It's six thirty right now. We're gonna see how long this goes for. So dear Meshim Neha? Raya. Raya means extremely well. Okay, we'll be back in about half an hour to see how long this takes. Okay, we're back after forty five minutes. Bada Meshi Amme? Good? Bada perfect. Perfect, still perfect. Alright, there we go. A little bit dark out here. That's the, uh, but he takes small draws, small smoke. How's the flavor? How's Tangier's flavor for you? Good? No? No problem at all. He, goes, he says it'll last at least another half an hour. So we'll probably check back in. <coughs> we'll probably check back in in another half an hour or so. But they bad fahme? No, Okay. All right, here we go. Mine is still going strong too. That's chronic hookah coals after 45 minutes. Actually, pretty good. I'm not smoking that hard. Yeah, though, we'll be back in a bit. Bye. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half now. We got to take a quick break. But this is the funnel bowl. It's short. Uh, sorry, this is the Italian clay bowl. It's short and stubby, but works like a charm. And that's what she said. Okay, so just to show you how small it is. Um, you have a good time with your Tangiers? Tangiers is good? Oh, oh yeah, yes. Tangiers. Okay, so if you guys will excuse me and get the F out of here, I'm about to eat my meal for tonight. And then go back to smoking, alright? HookahJohn.com, signing out. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.